Eight AM Stereo by John Gatsky in Radio World. UK broadcasters could transmit AM Stereo within the next year, but the agency governing radio transmissions wants interference calculations on the likely standard Motorola CQAM. The Radio Communications Agency, a division of the Department of Trade and Industry, has briefed the Association of Independent Radio into AM Stereo. The adoption of CQAM looks very promising because Japanese tests reveal CQAM is compatible with the 9 kHz bandwidth AM scheme used in the UK, according to Capital Radio's engineering director, Peter Jackson. He suggested that the Radio Communication Agency could approve CQAM within a year. Stations could have the system on the air in three to six months, he added. The Radio Communications Agency requested CCIR interference profile calculations following tests last year by the now defunct Independent Broadcasting Authority, which rated CQAM highly. The IBA tests, which included on air broadcasts and a production comparison of two American AM stereo systems, Motorola CQAM and the Khan ISB systems, said CQAM is an inherently better system, according to Jackson. Those test results, however, were not enough to persuade the government. The Radio Communications Agency wanted CCIR standard-based interference calculations, an area not covered in the comparison tests. Jackson said such tests would have been too expensive for the newly created National Transcommunications Limited, a privately funded spin-off of the IBA. NTL instead decided to use the Japanese report that includes CCIR calculations. Motorola provided the translation from Japanese to English, while the NTL compiled the summary report that was to be forwarded to the Radio Communications Agency. United Kingdom stations like the idea of AM stereo because it will be a good marketing tool for the band, which Jackson said benefits from a change in the UK broadcasting regulations that ends simulcasting of AM and FM programmes. Stereo will give a boost to AM's unique programming. Receiver companies have indicated to UK broadcasters that producing CQAM radios is a matter of scheduling production once the demand is stimulated. During the meeting with the Radio Communication Agency, Jackson said RDS AM was also discussed. Germany has proposed an RDS system for AM, and there has been some debate about whether it is compatible with CQAM. Preliminary tests by Motorola, he said, concluded that compatibility is possible. Jackson said he has heard that Europe would rather have RDS AM than AM stereo, but he does not believe it. No actual systems exist, he said. At least with AM stereo we can get on with it and get something out of it. Jackson does not believe DAB, digital audio broadcasting, will have an immediate effect on AM stereo if it's adopted within the year. Even if DAB is adopted in 1995, it will be eight to ten years before it has significant market penetration. Broadcasters who converted to AM stereo would have recouped their investment in equipment by that time and benefited from the reputation of better sound. That piece by John Gatsky.